Taylor Swift in 2019, what you haven't heard about her bold new album and her groundbreaking role on the big screen. I came right off of a stadium tour and went right into rehearsals. Plus, Taylor on a mission inside her finished feud with Katy Perry, the battle over her huge hits, and her stand in the fight for equality. Now, The Hollywood Reporter and Billboard News take a look at the queen of pop's whirlwind year. She exists in some other plane most of the time. Like, superstars want to be superstars, and then there's Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is one of the biggest pop stars in the world, with 10 Grammys and five number one albums. She's the first artist in history to have four albums all debut with a million copies sold in their first week. So the big question, can she do it again with her new album, Lover? There's so much pressure, I think, that people might be putting on her right now because her last four albums all started with selling more than a million copies in their first week. So people are thinking, can she do it again? I think the thing to remember is, if she doesn't sell a million, I don't think people should think that it's a failure or that it's a disappointment. It's a very different marketplace than it has been for her last four albums. It's changing so rapidly to a streaming world, and it's really, really hard to accomplish that. So if she falls short, it's not because there's been any diminishment and excitement for her. It's simply because of the changing dynamics of how the record industry works. So for her to be able to pull that off would be like a monumental feat, but if anyone can do it, it might be Taylor. This time around, Taylor has upped her album game, offering fans serious incentives to buy her new record. So for Reputation, Taylor's last album, she had two different kind of magazine booklet things that she sold at Target. Each one was different, so if you were really a big fan, you would want to buy both copies. Now she's kind of taken that a step further, and in some ways kind of followed BTS's lead, where she has four different uh, sort of book things that she's released or she'll release through Target. It's very collectible. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say she'll probably debut at number one. How big will it be? Your guess is as good as mine, but I'm assuming it'll be a, a sizable number. Probably will be yet another blockbuster for Taylor Swift because that's what she does. She puts out blockbuster albums. Lover marks Taylor's first album under her new deal with Republic Records, and it showcases the first time she's taken an overtly public stance on issues she cares about, like equality. Shade never made anybody less gay. She's always been supportive of the LGBTQ community. I think this took it to a whole new level, though. It's like, I am Taylor Swift, and I am super supportive of the gay community, and you might not have realized that before because I didn't speak about it, but like, if you were paying attention, you saw who my friends were, and you knew that like this is always who I was, but now I'm just gonna like announce it. I just think it was a really cool thing that she did. You know, some people sort of like gave her flack for that, thinking that it was somehow opportunistic in some capacity, but I think it's really hard to kind of diminish you know, what she did. You had this huge platform and you took a stand and you said what you believed in. Like, isn't that a good thing? Laverne Cox, one of the stars featured in the video, recently opened up to The Hollywood Reporter about what it means to have Taylor Swift as an LGBTQ plus ally. The response to the You Need to Calm Down video, both positive, negative, and you know, somewhere in between, made me think about how far we still have to come. And I'm so grateful that Taylor, at this point in her life, is very um, intentionally decided to be a service to our community and to the world in this way. The You Need to Calm Down video's star-studded cast also includes someone Taylor once had bad blood with, Katy Perry. They're dressed as fast food and they're hugging and like it's done. It made sense in the context of the video because while it is about pride and the LGBTQ community, it's also about stop pinning all the pop star girls against each other. And here's me and Katie and everybody's cool. But while Taylor ended one feud this year, a brand new battle began. One the singer songwriter called her worst case scenario. It was announced that Scooter Braun and his Ithaca Holdings had purchased Scott Borchetta's Big Machine label group and the deal included Taylor Swift's catalog, including her first six studio albums. And Taylor came out really vocally 
um, against Scooter buying Big Machine Records. It was a, a massive debate that it sparked and people came out on all sides. Almost immediately a number of celebrities were either Team Taylor or Team Scooter. But I think what it really showed was that Taylor is not afraid at this point to speak up about anything as long as you know it's protecting what she believes in and what she values. Now as Taylor Swift moves on from the drama with a new album on her new label, she's also moving on to the big screen with a standout role in the movie Cats. I've always brought that sort of narrative element to my live shows. I think this is a big movie for Taylor Swift because it could bring her to a new audience that doesn't know her from her music and it will be a stepping stone if it's successful into more substantive roles. And it makes all the sense in the world considering who she is as a performer and then her love of cats, <laughs> which is well documented. It's like, it's kind of the perfect, the perfect way for her to, you know, become like a big screen star. And while Taylor has done some acting in the past with films like Valentine's Day and The Giver, Cats marks a major step up. So this is probably the first time for Taylor um, with Cats that she's going to be in like a marquee movie um, where she's like as big of a face of it as all the other cast members. It's really gonna put herself out there because the success or failure of the movie will kind of like hang on her a lot too, which that's never been the case for a TV show or a movie that she's done previously. You know, there was a lot of like response to the trailer being just sort of insane, but like in like a crazy over the top way. I mean, it was the hate watch of the summer. Everybody watched it, everybody made fun of it, and everybody acknowledged that it would probably make a billion dollars. I think the cats, people are going to have the last laugh on this one. But could the success of Cats put Taylor on the same track as fellow pop star Lady Gaga, who stunned audiences in A Star Is Born? You know, artists like Madonna and Lady Gaga transitioned from being pop superstar diva to big screen diva. And, you know, that worked. It worked in a lot of ways for both of them. Obviously, it worked gangbusters for Gaga. She got an Academy Award nomination for A Star Is Born. To become a star on the level of, you know, real movie stars, you gotta do something surprising. If she wants to be taken seriously as an actor, she needs to do something outside her comfort zone and really surprise people and say, wow, this is something that we would not have expected from Taylor Swift. You know, something where you really just go for it. And if you succeed, people will really reward you for it. It's like a perfect launching pad to get to like someplace sort of like Lady Gaga went with A Star Is Born that I feel like Taylor needs to find something like that to dig into, which I mean, those are like once in a lifetime roles, but I'm sure she's looking since it's something she's interested in. So I, I think that she could 100% get to that place where Gaga got with A Star Is Born. She just needs like this perfect vehicle to come along for her. I mean. Taylor is in such a unique place right now, she can kind of do whatever the heck she wants. So it'll be really, really fascinating to see where her story goes next. From the big screen to the top of the charts to taking a stand for what she believes in, no matter where Taylor goes from here, one thing's for sure, she'll do it with her loyal fan base of Swifties by her side. For The Hollywood Reporter and Billboard News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.